So a lot of times you'll start out in music learning just an instrument and you'll learn a couple chords and you'll start trying to make your own songs. And maybe you just don't know what chords actually go together or what sounds good together. So let's just walk through a couple of basic things about chords so that we can start putting together some progressions for our songs. You'll hear people say, I'm playing this song in the key of G or I'm playing in the key of E or something along those lines. And a lot of times when they're saying that, they're talking about chords that are a part of the scale of E major or G major or C major. So one of the things that you can do is go out to Google and do a quick search for guitar chords in the key of C or guitar chords in the key of E. And you'll likely find a page that's something like this to where it's going to show you the chords that are a part of C major. So it's talking about the C major scale and then it shows you the chords that are a part of that. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven chords that are a part of that key. And you'll see the same thing as we go over to this chords that are in G major, same thing, there's seven chords. So you'll notice that these things are set up pretty similarly as well. So the first chord is G major, so it has the root note in that chord. And then you have two minor chords, you have two major chords, another minor chord, and then a diminished chord. And you'll see that's the same on both of the keys or any of the keys that you'll go and research. So what this is telling you is that at a very fundamental sense, these are the chords that will sound good together. And then it goes a little bit further even down below this and it says here are some of the popular chord progressions in this key. And so it's showing you the chord progressions that you could use to create some of the things in your song. So that's what we're gonna do essentially is we're gonna look at this setup to know what the chords are, whether they're major or minor, and then we're gonna use this chord progression down here to put together something really quickly. So let's say that we're gonna create this song in the key of G major, which is what I'm looking at right now. And so I'm gonna choose to make a chord progression that follows this one, the one, five, six, four. So that would be G major, D major, E minor, and C major. So that makes up the one, the five, the six, and the four. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna translate that into FL Studio, and I'm gonna jump over there so that I can show you what we're gonna do. All right, so now I'm in FL Studio. We're gonna go ahead and bring up a piano really quickly, just to make this a pretty simple demonstration. So we're gonna go down to packs, I'm gonna go to instruments, keyboard, and I'm going to choose the grand piano. I'm gonna drop that right below, left click and drag it. So now we have a piano loaded up. I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna go into the piano roll. And what you'll see is along this side, it looks like a keyboard. And if you don't have these notes that are visible along the side, you can come down here, go to view, and then you can come down here to where it says keyboard labels and choose all notes. And what that's gonna do is tell you what each one of these notes is. So you'll see it starts with C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then back to C. And it just keeps repeating that over and over. So we're gonna use this as we start setting up our chord progression. All right, so like we talked about before, we're gonna use this chord progression, which is the one, the five, the six, and the four. So that's G major, D major, E minor, and C major in the key of G. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to this little purple button at the top of the piano roll. We're gonna click on it, and what this does is bring up the stamp tool. And so the stamp lets you create all kinds of different things. You can do scales from it, you can do chords from it, you can also create different kinds of percussion and also all these other crazy added on chords that you can do from there. So what we're going to do is to drop down here under where it says melodic chords and we're gonna choose major because the first chord that we wanna lay down is a major chord. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click on G and what you'll see is that it dropped three notes in. So that is the chord for G major. And we're just gonna take this until our arrow turns to that double arrow and we're gonna stretch it out to where it fills out that first um, bar right here. And then the next chord that we were gonna create was another major chord. It was the D major chord. So again, we'll come over here, click on major, and then we're going to come over here to the D and drop the chord right there. And then we're going to do the same thing for the third chord except this time it's minor. So we're gonna come down here to the drop down, choose minor, 
and then we're gonna pick E, which is the E minor chord over here, and then come back to do one more major chord, which is the C chord, which is down here. So now we've laid out a simple chord progression pretty quickly inside of FL Studio. So let's go ahead and listen to that. I'm gonna throw some headphones on so we can hear it, and let's see what we've got so far. All right, so that sounds pretty good, but we can actually change things up a little bit by rearranging where the notes are hitting so that maybe they're a little more evened out so the chords uh, kind of smoothly transition from one chord to the next. So what we're gonna do is we are going to hold down Control and we're gonna left click and drag so that we select all of the notes inside the piano roll. Or you can just press Control A and that'll automatically highlight all those notes as well. And then we're gonna come down here to this drop down, I'm gonna choose group and we're gonna say ungroup. And what that does is just allow each of these notes to be moved around individually. So if I control and left click on one of those notes and then I hold down control and then I use an up or down arrow on my keyboard, I can move those notes around. So it's just gonna move that note an octave. So if I move it down an octave, it's gonna be a lower version of that same note of A. So I'm gonna bring that down an octave. I'm gonna control and left click on this B note up here. Do the same thing, control and then down arrow. And then I'm going to just leave the rest to be about like that. So let's hear that progression now. So it changes the feel of it a little bit and that's simply just by moving a couple notes around that are still a part of that chord. We've just made what are called inversions of those chords to create a sound that's a little bit different. It doesn't change quite as drastically between the chords. So it just is a little easier for our ears to hear and, uh, and go along with. So we've created our first chord progression. So let's exit out of the piano roll and we're gonna create a new pattern. So the second pattern, let's say we're gonna to try to create a chorus. So let's jump back out to that website again and look at the progressions that we could use. So there are all these different ones that they list out up here. So they list out this one, the four, and the five. So let's go ahead and grab that. So we're gonna grab a G, a C, and a D. And they're all major chords for this particular chord progression. So let's go back to the piano roll we're gonna jump back into the piano roll. And so we're gonna do G, C, and D. And so this time we're gonna come down here, grab the major stamp, and we're going to do G. Grab the major stamp again. Do C. And grab the major again. Whoops. <laughs> and do D. So let's listen to that pattern really quickly. But I don't want it to just end there. So what I'm gonna do is actually control and left click and drag around. I'm gonna move these two chords over and I'm going to control and drag around this one and I'm gonna extend it out so that it goes for two measures. So here we have the G chord going and then we have the C chord and then the D chord. And this is gonna be our chorus uh, for our song. But it sounds kind of boring as it is. So again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna control, left click, and drag around it. We're gonna come over here to this left side, go to the group and do ungroup. And then I'm going to control and click on that first note, do control down arrow, and maybe do that also on this one, and then maybe this one as well. And let's listen to what it sounds like now. And now what we can also do is add a little bit of rhythm to this. Since it's just this big long chord, maybe we can split it up a little bit by creating a little bit more rhythm in what's happening here. So I've turned on the metronome by clicking this button right here. All right, so then I'm gonna uh, press C on my keyboard and that brings up the cut tool. And what the cut tool does is allow me to come in here and if I slice it, it's gonna slice it into two chords played. 
So if I come in here and slice it at a different place. So if I don't like where I slice it, I can select around it, around those chords by uh, using control, left clicking and dragging around it, and then I can press control and G and it'll join it back together. So if I wanna start over, just press control and G there. Oops. Press C, let's have it there, and then maybe here. So that adds a little bit of rhythm to what we're doing. So we've created two separate chord progressions really easily by just using this stamp tool. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys to be able to figure out how to do quick chord progressions using a little bit of music theory and a very cool little tool that's inside of the piano roll so that you can crank out songs a lot quicker and just get things done and out there and into the world. If you wanna learn some more of the basics about FL Studio to create your own songs, I've created a three-part series that you can check out the link for in the description below that'll walk you through how to use the program to create your own songs. It'll walk you through things like creating drums or using VST instruments, recording your voice or recording an instrument or doing all kinds of other things like that so that you can put your own songs out into the world and be proud of them. Or if you just wanna learn some more tricks about the piano roll, you can check out one of these other videos and I will see you in the next round.